Hello world and welcome! Today we are gonna install the Samba into your JSON and try to remote access to your machine. So what is Samba? So Samba is a tool or the protocol that allow you to uh, change like transfer the files or you can even edit the like Python script or the text file on the remote machine. So let's dive into it. So first, log into your machine. I'm using SSH. Okay, let's get started. So sudo apt-get install samba. It will ask for the password. Okay, the installation is done and let's start to configure this samba. So sudo vi. So the file is in the etc samba smb.config So here is a big file that you don't even have to know what all this is about. Do the insert and do the Ubuntu and then comment equal well whatever comment you want, let's say samba and path you can set the whatever path you want, but I'm going to use the root path. If you want to do the home directory, you can do the home directory. It's up to you and valid users is Ubuntu public yes and writable yes and we are done with this file and save and exit and do the sum sudo smb password this a and ubuntu and this will this means like um, adding a new user called ubuntu and put the password and added user ubuntu and we are ready to go just Restart the service. SMBD restart. And then we are done. So how do you access to your machine? Okay, in the Mac, it's pretty simple. They already have built-in tool to able to access to the Samba. So how you do is go to the Finder. Go to the finder here and command shift K or you can use here this one here network this yeah network so you can see Tegra Ubuntu that's already started to share the files so but if you just click in you are denied so what you have to do is go here and log in and if you want to save it the password you save it and then connect boom now you can have access to all the files in your JSON so let's say you wanna change some files on the JSON clock dot sh you can change this like whatever you want to change and just save and it will automatically upload to your JSON. It's that simple. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.